Hey guys, welcome! Today we will be making these waist dice bottoms that are reversible and without further ado, let's begin! Make two different fabrics or the same fabric you can use for the inner and outer layer and I choose these two and then you will be needing the pattern. The pattern can be purchased on my Etsy store and it does come with colorful illustrated instructions that I did myself. So moving on, you will cut out the front piece and the back piece from the inner and outer fabric and I am cutting on the fold. Now you will put together of the same fabric front and the back piece and you will sew the crotch together and you need to make sure that the pieces are right sides together so if it's the fabric with a pattern be careful and you will do the same for the inner fabric so the crotch I am using my overlocker for this step but you can also use a zigzag stitch Next, you will put the pieces right sides facing each other and you will pin them together. I like to start at the inner seam and then I will work my way up to the top part. Then you will sew the leg openings and you will also attach elastic the same way. I forgot to mention that you will also cut out your ties and then you will also sew them together and attach elastic. Then you will take a safety pin and you will flip over your tights. Then in the middle of the crutch you're going to cut a small hole and I should really cut this out in the inner fabric and not into the outer fabric but I forgot so don't make my mistake and once that is done with a safety pin you're going to pull through the waist ties and you're going to insert them into the waist tie openings and you're going to secure that with a pin and sew with a straight stitch. Now you could also use an overlocker but actually my overlocker isn't that strong and it does get eaten by the feeding dogs, so I prefer to do the straight stitch. And you will repeat this step on the all four waist eye openings. then cut away any excess off so that it isn't bulky and then through that crotch hole you're going to pull everything right sides out it looks like a little octopi so cute then for the raw ends of the waist ties i'm going to just put these metal endings to make them look very neat and that's it this is the finished pattern or the finished bottoms they are very easy very beginner friendly and they look super cute 
Thank you for watching and if you would like to purchase a pattern, it's available on my Etsy store along with other patterns. Bye!